today will mark the end of our latest string of days of severe weather potential, at least in the short term. We got uh, two areas out there, one in Florida, one in eastern North Carolina. A marginal slight risk of severe weather. If you're in that dark green or yellow shade, marginal slight risk of severe storms today. There is going to be a risk of tornadoes, some decent general spin in the atmosphere for areas of central Florida. Some uh, tornado warnings have already been posted for the morning drive. Cities like Tampa Bay, Raleigh, Norfolk, be weather aware. Large hail and damaging winds will be possible as well. Another day with a wildfire threat across the south central United States. Up to a critical threat today for cities like Dallas, uh, northwest to Denver. So respect that wildfire threat out there. Area of low pressure still bringing areas of accumulating snow. Could have some heavy system and maybe a lake effect response. Some areas of the upper peninsula of Michigan watching for some heavy snow, at least a half a foot. But some spots could get some low double digit amounts through tomorrow there. So a lot of cold air is wrapping in, watching for an ex-Pacific cold front to bring in snow for the Cascades. Some heavy rain possible in the mid-Atlantic and northeast for the next couple of days as well. Also worth noting, heat advisory day two of three for Los Angeles. Some uh, spots like Burbank, near 100 degrees again today, shattering record highs. He, uh, red flag warnings to the south, a lot of high wind warnings in the yellow shade there across the plain states for the day today. Los Angeles forecasting a high of 97 degrees. Again in the upper Midwest, watching for snow and wintry mixes and severe weather to the east today.